So his head is down. Oh, nice. Is okay. So now I'm starting all my labor preparation. Okay, let's begin. Finally, everyone can know. One, One two, two, three. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what just happened. Oh my gosh, he's here. We are here in my 34 week scan and I'm at the specialist because I am 36. So they consider me high risk <laughs> and old. Wait, so, people normally wouldn't do this? No, if I was under 35, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, it's only because I'm a geriatric pregnancy, which is like old as F. <laughs> Yeah, they just like measure everything to see if everything's good. He's moving all around. I was drinking my coffee earlier, so he was bumping up and down. We should be able to get a baby weight estimate too, which I'm really looking forward to. And if he's got a big head, oh, it's he definitely, genetics. He definitely has a big head. <laughs> Thanks to you, babe. More brain matter though, so that's good. So his head is down. Oh, which nice. is okay. The placenta looks really nice um, and healthy. So baby is doing well. It's a good size baby. Or six pounds, four ounces. Oh wow! Aww, oh my God! So there's an arm kind of coming across like that. And yeah. Like this. Oh my God! Um, you can see that little nose and. He's like in the same position. I know. <laughs> As it came out really well. So yeah. You can't see the other eye, but you can yeah. see some of it. He looks great. And the um, head, is that like a 95%? Yeah, so I'm not sure what, like the, the machine puts like strange percentiles. Yeah, the head is the biggest, like the dad the head is big. I'm officially 38 weeks pregnant, so now I'm starting all my labor preparation just to make sure that anything I do, if it does stimulate labor, then I'm in a good place, he's fully developed, and I can have him. Oh, but Jojo, will you tell me kind of what it does, like the pressure points we're doing? So you have labor stimulation points in your body that help stimulate the natural labor process that your body is already preparing for. They help um, get your cervix to start becoming more softer and help the dilation process get started, help the uterine um, start contracting with sending lots of blood flow to the uterus. He's definitely moving around when she was doing the pressure points. I'm like, okay, he's definitely feeling something going on. <laughs> and then um, the labor stimulation points also help your body with downward energy so baby descends further into the pelvis, which is amazing for need. labor what you need <laughs> so it just really supports the natural process that your body's already starting which it sounds like are we feeling the pressure down there and yeah he just feels very heavy like things are moving in position so yep we'll see Thank you so much for being such a supportive big sister to your baby. Oh, you're such a great big sister. Are you scratching my arm? No, you got a boo-boo. Thank you. You're helping do the massage. You're so helpful. See, you got a boo-boo, boo-boo. Well, it's not a boo-boo. It's to help on um, the baby. Flip it. No, no, no. Am I in it? Hi. Hey, puppy. Her hands are over the camera. She sees you. The pie. No, Daddy, talk to him. I'm sorry, drop your phone. You dropped my phone? No. Auto. Auto. Try to do auto right here. Okay, let's begin. I'm stressed. I'm so worried about it going too quick like last time, so I'm like trying to just, of course I didn't have my hospital backpack. I'm trying to pack it. And my hair was wet. Packed. I'm like, I don't want to go to the hospital with wet hair. It's 2 a.m. right now. Got a little tracker. 34 seconds, why does that feel way longer? It's kind of so all over the place. With I know. Rest, like time intervals. But... Should I just keep doing my hair? What do you think? I think if we're at like 40 to 45 seconds. Do you think this app is accurate? Cause last time I feel like that wasn't. What do you think? I don't know. What is even happening in my hair right now? Babe, get there. Drive faster. Almost there. Hurry, Amy. I know, I know, I know. We're going, we're going, we're going. Hurry, hurry. Oh my God. Just, How much longer? What does it say? It. Breathe through it. Just... Hurry, get there. Get there. Yeah, we're going. I'm not going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. There's no one on the street right now. Hurry. There's literally no one on the street. I'm just going to... I'm not gonna make it. Just breathe. Just breathe. Focus I on the like breathing. Push, hurry, hurry. Don't, don't push. Just keep on breathing. Breathe. Breathe. Through your nose. Out through your mouth. Okay, we're gonna go. We're going. We're going. We're gonna make it. We'll be fine. Deep breath. Good job. Okay. Breathe. 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 That's the way. 
So there you good. go. Good job. Breathe, remember to breathe. Come on. Oh my gosh. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Deep breaths. Oh. In. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's here. She's so precious. I can't even. I think that was a whirlwind. That caught us off guard. We didn't even film like we did with Poppy. I feel like Poppy was still like in the right mental state. Well, because we didn't have anything packed. Wait, so let's please just say what happened. <laughs> from, it's only two hours from start to finish of when he was born. There's from, not too much to cover. Oh well, yeah, when we woke up and then you were getting ready in the bathroom and then you had a feeling like you weren't something was up even though we were trying to keep record of the contractions and that was Something wasn't. just fell off. So she was like, we have to go, let's go. So Jojo came over at 7 p.m. for a massage. It was from seven to nine. And when she was doing the massage, I felt like a heaviness, almost like I was gonna start my period, but when she would push on the pressure points and she's like, okay, you're good to go. I stood up and I felt so much pressure down there. Like, this is not normal, but I'm like, oh, okay, he is pretty heavy and I'm near the end. So I'm like, okay, it was probably just the pressure of his head, you know, head and everything. I was up for a little bit, I would wash my hair. I blue dry it, so I feel like I didn't go to bed until like 12. I wasn't super tired because I had taken a nap a little bit earlier. So I was kind of wired still and I was like, oh, my stomach just doesn't feel Good. And I just kept feeling like a sensation of like, oh, there's a lot of pressure. But it didn't hurt. Like, it was so manageable. What time did I wake you up at? 1.30. And I was like, um, I'm starting to get the waves of like, these are my minor contractions. They were like, I just was getting waves of like, oh shit. Like, that's how it felt like with Poppy. But it like progressed really quickly. So I was getting a little bit nervous. And my whole thing was I want to get to the hospital in time to get an epidural. <sighs> So. I feel like we didn't film as much because like I woke up and we have nothing packed. We didn't even have a hospital bag packed. Like I had my list of things that I was going to put in it, but I hadn't gathered anything. So I'm like trying to go off my list, but I'm like, like trying to think and breathing then through focus and then... contractions. We're calling my doula and she's like, you don't sound like you're like in that much pain. I'm like, well, they're manageable. Like I can breathe through them. I got in the shower for a little bit mm -hmm. and then we tried to time them and all of a sudden I was like, okay, I got to get there. It was like at 30 to 40 seconds, like uh, the length of the contraction. And then you're just like, this pain is not right. And so we woke up Jaden so she could stay with Poppy while we go. At this point, what time was it? I don't know, 2.33. Oh, and I lost my mucus plug. So I knew then I'm like, okay, I'm definitely in labor. But my water didn't break. Um, we're just trying to grab stuff. I'm like, what do we need? We don't even have a car seat here right now. No. We forgot some things. We did bring the car in, we have her clothes and some snacks, and then we jumped in the car. Look at the snacks like, ready. Oh. I was screaming at him that I was gonna miss it, and it's his fault. <laughs> so Anthony was driving as fast and safe as he could. It was about a 10 minute drive to the airport, not the airport, 10 minute drive to the hospital. 10 minute drive to the hospital, and then in my I'm mind, I felt like it wasn't it. as bad as Poppy because the contractions with Poppy was so, it was so short and consistent. And very longer, they were yeah. longer. The walk from the car to through the parking lot to the hospital, I felt like we were stopping like every few steps with Poppy and then mm -hmm. bringing him. I felt like you were making it, you I made it halfway through and then you had your contraction and we made it all the way. So I was like, okay, well we have some time. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's not as big as a rush and the whole time you're like, better not miss it, better not miss like, epidural, babe, I better not. Better not miss my epidural right now. So I kept getting the sensation like there's a lot of pressure down there and they wanted me to sit down in a wheelchair at the check-in and I had a sensation that if I sit down, I'm gonna push. I started panicking a little bit because that scared me. I had the same feeling with Poppy where I was like, okay, I need to push, but they're like, don't push yet. The doctor's not here and plus we're gonna give you the epidural. They almost didn't give it to me with Poppy. Yeah. So we got into the room. I'm like, I, I think I need to pee because I drank so much coconut water on the way here. I was trying to stay really hydrated. I'm dripping sweat too and she's like, okay, just try to go pee really quick. And I feel like I'm gonna push. And she's like, okay, get up, just lay on the, lay on the bed. I'm gonna check you. I'm like, I. I didn't know what was going on because I'm just like, I'm so thrown off right now. At that point we were thinking like, okay, we made it, like things are fine. Yeah. Now we can like ease into this, you know, the doctors have it taken care of, they're gonna check her, like, 
we're, we're gonna be good so then she texts me and she's like okay we have a bulging bag and yeah. i was like no, no she's like you're at an eight eight centimeters dilated <sighs> Ew, even thinking about it now it freaks me out and they're like we can't give you an epidural and they said it in a way that was like i knew what they were like trying to get to i'm like right when she said eight I mean, though like, you kind of freaked out i freaked out so much wait a minute we get in the door of the emer emergency room here from the time I entered the door to having the baby, it was 12 minutes. So in all this time, my doctor was already here delivering someone else. So I saw her right when I walked in. She's like, oh, hey, Brittany. I'm like, what are the like actual odds that she was already here? She would have missed it if not. There's no way, 12 minutes. She basically told me I can't have an epidural. And I was just like, wait, I need something like there. I didn't mentally prep myself for going natural. If I was, I would have felt in a better mental space about it. Oh, I'm like shaking thinking about it again, how freaked out I was. It wasn't pretty, but then you accepted your reality. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I just need to do this. I was on my back and it hurt so bad. So she's like, you don't have an epidural, so you can get in any position you want. So I literally got on all fours and it felt so much better. The weirdest thing about the natural, which I didn't realize versus an epidural, is that when you have the contraction, pushing is like, almost better it like makes you feel like something's happening and it doesn't hurt as bad with the contraction so i think it came out in like three pushes right very quick very sudden yeah so by the time i started labor was uh, literally two hours and then by the time i got to the hospital it was 12 minutes when he came out and you wanted to he was just ready to come fast. i think that massage definitely helped with the uh, just like get things going because i felt so much pressure like from that afterwards i'm like okay something's off our doula she came probably 10 minutes after he was born yeah and i told her right away when she was at eight centimeters so she's like i'm headed down but she yeah. was like 30 minutes away so it happened really it quick happened and so fast faster than poppy i was like babe i didn't make it i was so mad at him too it wasn't even his fault but i was just like i should have gone to the hospital sooner gotta listen to your body so they're like it's gonna go much faster than the epidural because you're gonna feel everything so just hold on but it's gonna be really quick and i'm like really okay i can do this so i think knowing that it was gonna be quicker helped me i was so sweaty and i love how i was trying to blow dry my hair right before i'm so thankful for our little boy he is beyond precious he latched really good afterwards he fell asleep on me now he's asleep again i need to feed him for a little bit so we're just enjoying him on me i think we've had maybe an hour of sleep I never went to sleep last night, so I feel so tired. It's just weird. I'm like, he's here now. What do you think from your perspective? I mean, no matter how much you try to plan, I feel like everything went out the door. That was very unexpected. Very. From the time I woke you up, thinking like, I think I might have cramps, to was, like having yeah, him two hours later. Two hours. <laughs> Thank God we got somewhat of a hospital bag together. I know. So far, I've used my snacks. <laughs> the most but it was nice to stand right stand up afterwards like last time the epidural i feel like took a while yeah. um it was just like a little bit more so there was like pros and cons to both i would say but i guess i didn't realize how much faster it was gonna be and he's he just looks so a lot like poppy he does he's just so precious he was doing a little frown face earlier and he reminded me so much of her our little man so overall we are so thankful and blessed everything went so well we did not have a car baby she I said that if i would have waited longer i would have had a car baby imagine how big is he seven pounds three ounces so excited to share this journey with you guys it's been so special and I'm cherishing my little boy right now he's just sleeping so i'm 38 weeks today we're working on packing my hospital bag and we thought we're gonna sit down before he gets here and talk about what we decided to name our little boy. Boy names seem to be harder. I think there's a lot of cute girl names, but yeah, boy names Yeah, the list of girl names like, was so long. Yeah. We assumed we were gonna have another girl too. So we just were super prepped with all the girl names. This one was really important to us with the meaning. We just loved it so much. And once we decided that was his name, that was the end of the conversation where we didn't consider anything else. And we called him this from now on and poppy says it mm -hmm. so cute Pretty okay well actually i know she'll say it in videos and i have to cut it out i'm like oh shoot i didn't <laughs> yeah. realize she said it okay so let's do it with his little necklace so these are the ones the poppy and jaden ones i wear all the time right when we knew his name i ordered one for him this is so fun finally everyone can know one, one two, two three three his name is elliot he's such an Elliot to me already. We've already called him that, baby Elliot's room. His name was super important to us because the meaning is Hebrew for the Lord is my God. And Jaden's name is Hebrew for God is heard. 
So I really love the fact that they both were Hebrew names. Poppy's name is on her own because it was so specific to our story at the time, being yeah. the poppy seed and August her birth. Flowers, yeah, there's poppy, so much about just, Poppy that you couldn't ignore it. So I love the fact that it's just such a strong name and the meaning behind it is very powerful to us. And really ties in well to Jaden's story and my story with her. His middle name is after his dad. Do you want Elliot to say your name? <laughs> Anthony Xavier. <laughs> Yay, E-A-X. So yeah. our little boy, gonna be so precious. Hopefully he can hear me in here. That's just where oh, by the time this goes out. live, it's like we're probably gonna be knee be deep in, in, in it. In the thick of things. Yeah. So we're really excited. I have a gingerbread house that I ordered. I have his stockings up. Poppy just says that the cutest baby Elliot. Baby Elliot. She baby says Elliot. it's so cute. She'll kiss my stomach and just say, I love baby Elliot. All right, so knowing how this video is going to be edited, we know that it's going to be hospital scene right after this. So take you back to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you were sleeping? You were so precious. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what just happened. sleep all day and stay up all night. I know. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. He has so much hair. You think he's like hairier cheeks and stuff. Yeah. What do you think about your baby boy? Little baby boy. Is it surreal? Just surprised him how quick he came. I know. Just... We're still like, wait a minute. I'm also afraid of like how tiny Poppy was. I know. Like this. How fragile they feel. I know. How are we gonna put him in the car seat? That's gonna be, like, he's gonna be like a little. Are little... you ready for that? I don't know. Are we ready for that? Oh my god. Do we remember how to do it? <laughs> Our pediatrician just came in and checked him and everything looks really good. Doing so great. I'm so proud of He's latching. He's we got food delivered. This looks a lot more appealing than the hospital food. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with hospital food. Back to the video, we've been like picking up stuff. But I was like, oh, I want like waffles or something random. Jaden FaceTimed me earlier with him and she saw that she's gonna see him tomorrow when we bring him home so that they both can see him at the same time. It was recommended to me that I don't show Poppy him on me when they first meet so she doesn't feel threatened or feel jealous like she won't understand really so when i facetimed her i said he's coming home soon and he's gonna bring you a gift but that he he wasn't here yet so she hasn't even seen him over facetime so we're gonna do that tomorrow a gift from baby elliot to her and it's a little doggy and all the stuff that she likes so she's gonna think that he brought it for her and hopefully they'll really bond over it but we're gonna have him in a car seat so we put him down and then he's not on either of us and then our arms are open to Jay or to Poppy and Jay saying like, come here guys. Like, so it's like very neutral. So I like that idea and we're just gonna make her feel as involved as possible. So she doesn't feel left out. Poor Papuccino, but I think she's gonna be obsessed with him and wanna feed him because she is really into her American Girl doll little baby right now. So I think that she'll love a little milk bottle, a little juice bottle to pretend to give him. So we're gonna involve her in everything. Are you just in there? You just have the hiccups. He would always get the hiccups in my stomach around this time. It is now 7 p.m. They told me to rest whenever, you know, he's asleep, that I should be sleeping. And of course I haven't been doing that. So Anthony said that I was talking to him and I all of a sudden just started snoring and was holding him. So he stood up and he was like worried that I wasn't all there. But I'm, yeah, I'm very exhausted. We just got food delivered, so I ate. And Anthony's going to try to find us an ice cream sandwich because it sounded so good in the cafeteria. But I'm just obsessed with him. I can't take a nap because I just want to watch him and hold him. He's just the sweetest little thing. He and I are still on the other side now. I'm logging it, so I make sure he's eating what he needs to eat. But 
months. Like I feel like I did this with Poppy, but it seems so long ago, even though it really wasn't. It was only two years ago, but just getting the hang of it and each baby is different. So just trying to figure out his little latch and all that, but I had a lactation specialist come in and help me which has been really helpful. And she just made me feel more confident that I was doing it right. But I just like, I don't want to hurt him because she's like, okay, so put him on here. I feel like a lot better about it. And they said by the second day, they start to become more familiar with it too. So it gets easier from here on out. So hi, my little squishy. I love him so much. Good morning. This is our first morning in the hospital. And he did so good last night. He definitely isn't a screamer or crier. He'll do like a little squawk, but... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really cry. Like, Poppy had some lungs on her when we were in the hospital. I was like, okay, the whole floor knows she's here. He'll be like, He's like made a bird. some interesting noises, though. Like, at one point, I thought he did say hi back yeah, to me. Like, oh, hi, hi. I've been doing a ton of skin to skin, just kind of letting him sleep on me overnight. I didn't really sleep that much, probably like three hours max, because when he was sleeping, I just had him on me and kind of just like enjoying it. I didn't feel tired when he was sleeping, which is not helpful, but he has got some coffees delivered. Lactation nurse came in again and just helped out, making sure his latch is good. He's really full right now, he just nursed. We are doing some skin to skin and he put his arms like this by himself. The nurse came in to do his birth certificate and she's like, what is he sleeping like? Like a little angel. And so she was taking pictures of us. <laughs> so cute he literally looks like a little angel right now little love bug so we forgot our car seat on the way over to the hospital because we were in the biggest rush so i just got home i have to pick up the car seat and get it all cleaned up because we didn't have time to do it when we ran to the hospital but it kind of just reminded me of the time where i was putting poppy in the car seat and we were going home and i was so afraid driving because like my heart was pounding and it was just like such a not a weird feeling but just like i was kind of i was excited because we were bringing her home but then i was nervous because i was like i don't want to like crash or it's just like she was such a fragile thing and i I feel like this time around I'm going to be a little bit better, but it's kind of weird that the hospital just lets you take them. I'm like, okay, here you go. Hope he does well, or hope he has a great life, and you put him in the car seat. It's like this little tiny thing, you're like, okay. But yeah, it's it's going to be fun. Man, I was so nervous that the first time, and I, I, I'm a little bit more confident now. So I drove to Nordstrom, I called ahead, and I'm getting a new infant carrier, because I have no idea where the infant insert is. So the good thing is the mall is right across the street from our hospital. And of course it's raining, but I'm glad they had it in stock or else we would have really been in trouble. Success. The Nuna Pipa. I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but we have a car seat now. I heard this one's pretty good. I love Nuna. Um, we had the Nuna turtle for the our bugaboo stroller so i love this brand and then so elia is going to give poppy a gift and so we have her super incredible big sister with a little her little pendant and then a teddy bear a few other things so elliot's going to be giving this to his big sister so i'm going to try to set this up in the rain which is going to be great and then i'm going to go back to Brittany and the baby oh my goodness we're about to get discharged we're going home they're waiting to do his footprints on here. This is so precious. I think I'm gonna try and nurse him one more time so he's ready to meet the girls when we go home. But the doctor said that we can just wheel him out. Imagine. This little set is so nice. This is from Hatch Mama or Hatch, but it was a little kit that it came with. And it has a little nursing bra and these really comfortable stretchy pants that Anthony actually wore to bed last night. They were comfortable. You know, he was gonna sleep in jeans. I'm like, they, no. Jaden is dying for us to get home and she was so excited to see him. I'm so excited. How does it feel like to be a dad of a little boy? I think it's gonna be fun. Whether it was a boy so or a girl, doesn't matter. Also, everyone tells me that little boys love their mom so much, so. So we're excited. This hospital has been so nice. The staff has been so great. Lactation specialist has been so nice. Yolanda, she's helped me a ton. She's like, well, your body can just throw out kids. <laughs> I was like, well, we say we're done, but you know, give us a year and see what happens. <laughs> Two sisters. And there it is. Why am I? 
Brandon's getting the girls right now, so. You wanna, you wanna see Baby Elliot? Wanna see Baby Elliot? Oh, look in. Hi, Mom. It's Baby Elliot. Hi. Oh, you wanna see Remember baby Elliot in the belly? It's right here. Look, he, he popped out of my belly, just like you popped out of my belly when he's bringing teeth. Something in my ear. There's something in your ear? Do you want to show Mercy? I'm going to be the best big sister. No, talk to him. Hi. Hi. Mommy, you hold baby Elliot. You want to hold baby Elliot? Mommy, you need to hold him. You want me to hold him? Okay. okay. You want to sit with me? Okay, you sit right here. Get the baby Elliot. Oops, his hat fell off. <laughs> what do you think about him? Oh, he's so cute. I can't stick it on his head. Hi, hi, baby Elliot, and I'm your little brother. Stop. Let me put his hat back on it his so he doesn't, get, he doesn't get cold. Guess what? He's like, kind of reminds me of He's so precious, right? His lips. Mommy, they're no well. You want to get your. Noel. <laughs> See, he brought you a gift, puppy. <gasps> this is from Elliot. Oh my gosh, what did you get? Is this Cooper that you wanted? How did there's, you know? There's something else in there. No, no, I can There's another doggy, and you know what it says? It says, hi, big sis. I'm so lucky you're my big sister. Give him kisses. Okay, I'll give him kisses. Mm. What is it? It's a book. It says, I'm the super incredible big sister Poppy. No, no, Wheels on the Bus. It's not Wheels on the Bus. What's in there? It's you and Baby Elliot. What the heck? It's <laughs> Baby Elliot. <laughs> She's like, put him away. <laughs> Why don't you kiss his head and smell his head? It smells so good. Say thank you for Cooper, my uh, my little doggy. He knew he knew you loved Cooper. You're so sweet. He smells so good. Uh, Cooper, now. why don't you smell him? Jay said he smells so good. Three, two, three. Daddy, me hold him. Hey, Poppy, when you were this small, when we brought you home from the hospital, this is what you were like. You were so tiny. Yeah. Look at how tiny they are. Look at your hand and look at his hand. Oh, the other one? Let okay, me take let me it see. out. Yeah, let me see. Daddy. I told you. And that one. The other one? Okay. You want to see his knee? Does that toe look like your toe? You do, he has that toes. Yeah, he has the same toe as Why you. Why do you sit up here? Bobby, Jay said you got us something. Did you get me a gift? Do you want to show all the gifts we got her? What'd you get us? <gasps> No, did you That's do that? Mom. Oh, how cute. Welcome home. Oh, Are you serious? This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, Poppy. Daddy, I need to help Daddy over there. The cake? Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to open it and are you going to have a piece? Uh -huh. oh, I was like, what do you want to say to Mom? And she's like, trick or treat. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> Racer. You love the cookies? It's our first morning home from the hospital. I am just utterly obsessed with him. He is so precious. Here he had his morning feed, his change, and we're just snuggling, doing a little contact nap. I just love that he likes to be right here snuggled. Poppy is still adjusting. She is so precious. He was holding my hand earlier when he was nursing, and she's like, Elliot, why are you holding mommy's hand? <laughs> I think they'll be the best of friends once she realizes that he's staying here and he's not going anywhere. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. By the time you watch this, it will be Thanksgiving and we'll be celebrating at home with our little family of five. And I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving with your families. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, Ellie. <laughs>